and sit and three days. So I'm gonna take sleeps in three days. And um, so I only have bloat to my phone. Um, not completely, but to the point where I can't upload videos anymore. So that's been the delay. I have not been able to get a new cell phone, but I was able to get uh, internet at home. So um, hopefully I'll be able to do videos more frequently now. Anyway, um, I already tried to do this one time uh, before this, and it didn't work out because the volume was down really low, and I'm just going to leave the belly shot part in that I already recorded. So if the volume is down really low on that, sorry, but I'm not going to redo it. Uh, so just disregard everything that I say there. So anyway, um, if you couldn't take the hint uh, from the intro, um, the news thing, we are having Little boy, um, we found out at my 17 week ultrasound that we were having a boy. We did a gender party, gender reveal party. Nobody knew. Um, we did the box opening thing, and we do have a name for him. His name will be Xander. My husband really liked the name Alexander, but I didn't really. I wanted it to be unique, so I got an alternative to the name Alexander, and I really liked the name Xander, so we stuck with that. Um, these are some of the ultrasound pictures that I just got done uh, about a week ago, um, including the one that I just showed you. Uh, we couldn't get a good one of his face at first, but because he had his hands like over his face, so they did give us some of those. him with his hand over his face. You see his little mouth is open. Um, these are his profiles. One with his hand over his face and one just like regular. And then he finally moved his, his hand off of his face. So that's him doing like this kissy face. And that's him yawning. Like he's at the end of a yawn. And um, that's his little foot that he gave up by his mouth with both of his hands. So that's like the best one we got. But uh, so anyway, cravings have been lots of robust flavored stuff like tacos, um, cheeseburgers, spaghetti, pizza, stuff like that. I really didn't like getting Cherry Pepsi, Dr. Pepper. Um, not really anything sweet. Like, I still really haven't liked anything sweet. Like, every now and then I get a craving for, um, like, a candy bar or something, but it's not really, like, a lot of sweet stuff. Like, with Elena, I really like sweet stuff. Like, I wanted sweet stuff all the time. And with this one, not so much. Um, my hyperemesis has been gone since about week 16. Uh, I still take a Zofran every now and then, just when I need it, but not like constantly like I was having to take. Um, I got the pump at 13 weeks, and I haven't needed it since then. Uh, I have heartburn all the time. I do take Zantac 150 for that every day, sometimes twice a day. My hips have been bothering me really bad. Like I have sciatica, sciatica, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, how you pronounce it, but I have that really bad in my hip as well as popping hip syndrome. So my hip has been bothering me really bad on the right side. It sometimes feels like my back or my hip has to pop and like it's going to pop and is in the process of doing so and then it just kind of like locks and it just hurts really bad. So, um, what else? Um, 
um, he's moving a lot now. Um, he freaks my husband out a lot because of how much he moves when he does it. So, like, he moves really violently. Like, it hurts when he moves sometimes. He pushes up, like, right now he's pushing up into my stomach, like, and it's making me feel sick. Um, but he does that often. He's, like, really, he stays all throughout my stomach, like, he'll go really low and really high, like, at the same time, so he's really big right now, um, what else, I've been really, really tired, like, my first trimester, tired, exhaustion, fatigue, that's the word, had nothing on this, like, this is constant, constant being just like no amount of sleep is good enough um what else we're having a baby shower soon oh uh we did decide on where we were going to birth at and it will be at the birthing center that is two hours away from us um we actually are scheduled to do a um a tour of the birth center tomorrow and we will get to see what rooms they have and what they look like and what they offer and everything. Um, but we will be birthing there, doing an all-natural water birth delivery, uh, seeing that everything, hoping as far as everything goes okay with the rest of this pregnancy. Um, and I will have my chest and throat encapsulated because... I did not like taking Prozac with Elena, like, after I had her, because I, I developed severe postpartum anxiety after I had her. <sighs> Sorry, like, he's, like, kicking me in my stomach. Um, and I really hated taking the Prozac, so, um, so the deal with placental encapsulation, if you don't know, is your placenta is what regulates your body's hormones, and after you have the baby, your hormones just kind of like and just drop off. And that's what can trigger the postpartum depression and anxiety is your hormones are just gone. Like they're so out of whack. And um, some women can get over it. I don't want to take the chance again. So the, the rate of not having those issues when you do placental encapsulation is really high. Uh, because like I said, your placenta holds all of those nutritional, you know, hormonal, all of that. And when you take your placenta and you dehydrate it and put it in cheap pills, you take it, like, so many times a day or so many, so often, and um, it replenishes all of the hormones that your body has lost. So, in theory, it's supposed to regenerate the hormones that you have lost and keep you from getting all of the bad hormonal side effects. So, I would like to try it at least. Um, it's $200, and hopefully it works. If it doesn't, no big deal for me. I mean, I don't have a weak stomach like that anyway. Um, so hopefully it works. But if not, you know, I tried. But, um, my due date has been changed. It was May 12th, and now it's May 2nd. Um, I'm pretty sure that's it. Um, updates on Elena are, she is talking more. She, we are getting her to use the potty little by little. She, right now she's 20 months old, almost 21 months old. And, I mean, she's just developing normally, just like a normal toddler should. Um, she's throwing temper tantrums. Uh, get in trouble a lot for that. Um, she started, like, folding her arms, um, talking back, arguing with us, stuff like that. Even if it's just some baby talk, like, you can tell what she's doing just from her, um, attitude. But, um, she's, she's good, though. As far as being almost two years old, she's, she's actually really well behaved. Um, and we're really proud of her for the things that she's picking up, um, just out of nowhere, like, she'll watch TV and pick something up, which I know is normal, but it's still, 
you're proud of her for it. Um, so, uh, oh yes, this baby spoon is going to be Mickey Mouse. We chose Mickey Mouse because Elena is completely obsessed with Mickey and she loves everything about him. And we decided that if we get something that she really likes, maybe she will bond with the baby more if he's covered, you know, in something that she really likes. Um, right now she's convinced that I'm pregnant with Mickey Mouse. I don't know why, where this came from, but she thinks that I'm pregnant with Mickey Mouse. So, um, yeah, like, when Mickey comes on, she'll, she'll look at Mickey and she'll go, baby, baby, and she'll run to my stomach and be like, baby, baby. So, she thinks I'm pregnant with Mickey Mouse. So, we're just going to kind of play on that and hope that it works out and she bonds with the baby more because she thinks this. And hopefully she won't try to take everything that the baby has, um, that has Mickey Mouse on it. So, anyway, um, I'm pretty sure that's it. If I forgot anything, see you in the next, uh, update. But, um, hopefully now I'll be able to do more frequent updates and I won't look like this the next time. Uh, but, because it's really late right now and I was actually going to go to bed and thought about doing this. But, um, hopefully I'll be able to do more frequent updates now that I have the ability to do them. And, um, maybe I'll be able to do an update after we do the tour tomorrow. So, like I said, I will see you guys later. And, um, much stuff is the bell shot. Um, 